Joel chapter 2, it was prophesied then that they were going to go to Jerusalem. In mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 2, verses right. 2 through 4, what were they told then? What did Isaiah prophesy? The church would start where? In, in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. All nations mm -hmm. would flow in. Come on, come on, preacher. You see the prophecy years before the gospel ever instituted. Yes, sir. Never once did God say, pray. They sent Jesus into your yes, heart. Yes, sir. what the gospel looks like, folks. Yes, uh -huh. I pray you're listening on tonight. I pray you're listening on tonight. Come on, preacher. Paul said it is the power of God. Mm -hmm. Not the power of man. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not the power of Brother Downey. Come on. Because Brother Downey don't have the power to do nothing for nobody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. But it's the power of God unto salvation. salvation. Yes, sir. And that's chapter 4. And in verse number 12. Well. The Bible says, for there is no other name mm -hmm. under heaven given among men. By which we must be saved. saved. Yes, sir. No other name mm -hmm. but Christ Jesus himself. And so why is it that we have all these many different other ways mm -hmm. for folks to be saved? I'll tell you why that is. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy, brother, brother, we get 2 Timothy chapter 4 for me. 2 Timothy chapter 4 is going to expose. Come on, preacher. Why we have all these other things. Yeah. Amen. Man. Brother Brandon, get for me Galatians chapter 1. And verse number 6 through 10. We're we, we going to dissect this a little bit. We're going to dive a little deeper on tonight. Come on. The gospel is to be preached. Mm -hmm. It's the good news. Mm -hmm. You know, oftentimes people want to spread, you know, bad news, Brother Williams, is quick to spread. Well. Okay. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You know, gossip is quick to spread. Uh -huh. We talk about folk when they do something wrong. Right? We quick to spread bad news. It goes all over every, all over the world. Mm -hmm. But what about the good news of Christ? Yes, sir. We ought to be spreading that news. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Because that's the news that can get you from here to glory. Yes, sir. Amen. Man. That's the news that gets you from here to glory. Gossip don't get you there. Come on, preacher. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting about verse number 2, what does the Bible say? Preach the word. Preach the word. Be uh ready in season. Be ready in season, season, out of season. Reprove, 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 reprove exhort, exhort with great patience and with, instruction. With patience and instruction. Read. For the time will come. For the time will come. When they will not endure sound. Well, hold up. For the time will come when they will not endure uh -huh. sound doctrine. Read. But are uh, wanting their ears tickle. But wanting their ears what? Want their ears tickle. They want their ears tickle. What are they going to do? Because they want their ears tickle. Hmm. They will accumulate to themselves. They're going to heap up for themselves or accumulate for themselves or yeah. make for themselves or bring about for themselves. Uh, uh, teachers. Uh, teachers in song accordance. Preaching. Amen. No, Man. In accordance. Teaching. Uh, in accordance. In accordance. Their own desire. In accordance to their own desires. You remember yeah. Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 10. He said, Lord, for I know there's not a man to direct his own path. Right. Right? Uh -huh. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Come on, preacher. But in all your ways acknowledge him and he uh -huh. will direct thy path. And he shall direct your path. Right. Well, Amen. Uh -huh. So we got folk that have all these different gospels. What did Paul say in Galatians chapter 1 and verses 6 through 10 about a different gospel? I marvel that you are so soon removed. I marvel, brethren, that you are so soon removed. From him that called you. From him that called you. Unto the grace of Christ. By the grace of Christ. Unto another God. Unto another God. Which is not another. Which is not another. Would there be some that trouble you? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, before we go any further. Well. See, Paul mm -hmm. killed this, this many gospel idea. <laughs> when he was writing to the church in Galatia. Uh -huh. He killed it. Right. He said, brethren, I marvel that you are turned so soon, or you are so soon removed. Mm -hmm. Right. From the one who brought you out of darkness. Come on, Jalen. Into his marvelous life. Mm -hmm. And now you're listening to a falsehood. Uh -huh. Amen. Now you listen to a different gospel. There's not enough. Mm -hmm. There's only one. Yes, sir. Right. And that's the one that Christ instituted on the day of Pentecost. That Come on. Right. That's, the, that's the one. Read on, Brother Greg. Will there be some that trouble you? There's some that trouble and you. And will pervert the gospel of Christ. And will do what? Pervert the gospel they of Christ. They will pervert. The gospel of Christ. You know the how I didn't say a gospel. But the gospel. Singular. That is a definite article. Right. Amen. That's a definite article. Not plural. Not many, but one. Yes, sir. Read up. 
But though we are an angel He said, from though heaven, we are an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel. Preach any other gospel. Unto that, that which we have and not preached unto you. Uh -huh. unto let you. him be a curse. Let him be a Come curse. on, preacher. Uh -huh. Read on. He's going to repeat himself. And as we said before, so I ought now. He again. said, I said, we said it before, and I'm saying it again. If any man preach any other gospel, if unto any you, man preach any and other gospel, you have received, let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. And it's, when, you, when you really look at that word, that, that's a harsh curse. <laughs> that's a harsh curse. You know, we, there's a thing called damnable doctrine. And come on, come on. Come on, preacher. Because he says in the text, if you teach any other gospel, uh -huh. then that which you have received. Let him be a curse. Uh -huh. Because what are you doing? Now you're working against the cause of Christ. Hmm. Uh -huh. Come on, Jalen. Yes, sir. Right. Now you're working against the cause of Christ. And in verse number 10, what did you say? For do I know persuade do I now persuade For men? Do I now seek to persuade men? Or God. Or God. Who are you trying to who are you trying to please, folks? Or do I seek to please men? Or do I seek to please me? Or if I yet please men, Paul said, if I still seek to please men, I, I should not be servant well a servant of Christ. So on tonight, those who are not in the body of Christ, why not? Hmm. Who are you trying to who are you trying to please? Mm -hmm. Those who are teaching a different doctrine, who are you trying to please? Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter six, the verse number twenty four, the Bible says you can't serve two masters. Well you can't serve God and man, you gotta love one and hate the other. But we got, we got a lot of folks that want to travel the fence. But we need to understand the gospel, what Jesus has done. And so we're going to look into this gospel. We're going to look a little deeper. Come on, come on, take a look. I want to spread some good news. Mm -hmm. You know, we often want to spread bad, but I want to spread some good news. Mm -hmm. And see, my both folks will quote John chapter 3 and verse number 16. But they leave out verse number 17. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in John chapter 3 and verse number 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that we will believe in him. Should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Verse number 17. For God did not send his son to the world, that the world might be condemned, but that the world through him might, might be saved. saved. That's yes, sir. the purpose of Jesus coming as a man. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose. And so I want to look at three facts on tonight. I want to look at three facts. Before I look at those three facts, I want to first go back to where the gospel was first preached. Come on, preach. Because a lot of folks say, well, the the gospel wasn't preached in the Old Testament. Well, according to Galatians chapter 3 and verse number 8, uh -huh. Paul said the gospel was first preached to Abraham. Mm -hmm. Where do you find that at? Genesis chapter 12 and verses 1 through 3. Come on. He Abraham the covenant that he made. Right? He said, yes, I'm going to give you a land. Right? I'm going to make you a great nation. Yes, sir. Verse number 3. He says, and through your seed, to all, all nations, nations shall be blessed. Be blessed. Church. Uh -huh. Folks, how, friends, how will the all nations of the earth blessed through Abraham? Come on, come on, come on, Jalen. Is the, is the only way is that what? Jesus came through that lineage. Yes, sir. He came as a man. He died according to the scriptures. First Corinthians Preach. chapter 15. For you and I. Yes. And so that we could be. Come on. Say. Folks, don't let Jesus' death go to waste. Hmm. Don't let his death mean nothing to you. Mm -hmm. The gospel shows and requires a few things. Well. One, it shows and tells the good news of salvation through Christ. Mm -hmm. It shows the love that Christ had for us and has for us. That he was willing to lay down his life. No one took it. He laid it down. He was willing to lay down his life for us. Well. So that we can live. I believe Isaiah 53 goes a little deeper into that. Not only does it show that, it proclaims God's grace. Come on, preacher. It proclaims God's grace. Everybody says, man, I'm glad God has his grace for us. Well, do we understand how graceful God is? Hmm. Because I got a question. Would any one of us in here on tonight give up our only son? Well. For folks that, want, that, folks that don't want to pay any attention to Come on, preacher. For folks that don't want to even receive him, according to John chapter 1 and verse number 11. The Bible says, for he came to his own, and his own did not receive him. That's right. But to them that did receive him, to them yes. the right to be called children of God. Mm -hmm. Right. To those that were received there, to those that obeyed him. Mm -hmm. 
to those that follow him, to those he gave the right to be called children of God. It requires an obedient response. The gospel requires an obedient response. 1 Peter 4, 17. Turn there with me. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse number 17. Come on. It's not just something we can say. It requires obedience on our part. In 1 Peter chapter 4, in verse number 17, the Bible says, For the time has come for judgment to begin in the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not pay attention? Here's your punchline. Well, who do not do what? Who do not obey, obey the, gospel. the what? The gospel, the gospel of God. Mm-hmm. So, preacher, what are you telling me? I'm telling you that obedience is a must. Yes, sir. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20. Jesus said, all power or all authority has been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Making the sign Talk, preacher. Him to observe some of the things I've commanded. Oh, oh. Uh, just part of the thing. Oh. All things that I've commanded. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Right? right. And, and, and baptizing them. I'm going back up there. Baptizing them. Mm-hmm. Teaching them to observe all things. That's making the disciples. But in order to make a disciple, you have to obey the gospel. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's where baptism comes into play. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is the death, burial, and the The resurrection resurrection. of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 4 lets me know. Preach. That do you not know that many of you were baptized into Christ, were baptized into his death? death. Yes, sir. That means I was buried. When you become a Christian, you were buried with Christ. Yes, sir. And just like he was raised, when you come up out of that water, you were raised, as, first, as Romans chapter 6 says, to walk in newness of life. Yes, sir. You have become a new creature. And now, when I do that, I must live faithfully. Come on, preacher. I must seek to please God. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And so if I'm seeking to please God, first thing I need to do is examine the facts of the gospel. Well. I need to examine the facts of the gospel. Yes. Mm-hmm. One of the facts of the gospel is Christ died for our sins. We looked at that in John chapter Come on, preacher. 17. And Romans chapter 5, verse number 8 says, while we were yet sinners, right. Christ died for us. Mm-hmm. While we were yet sinners. Mm-hmm. Meaning we were outside. We were out there without any hope. Talk, sir. We were dead in our trespasses. That's what, the, that's what the Paul says to the church at Colossae. Mm-hmm. You were dead in your trespasses. And he, Colossians chapter 2, by the way, and he made you mm-hmm. alive. Amen? Well, you were dead. Church women, folks, we have all been outside the body of Christ at one time. We have all been out there and needed. Well. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? It's just like when, you know, when you hear people say this, you know, when that hurricane happened a few years back over in Louisiana, and this person was on top of the house. And they said, well, I'm waiting on God to come save me. Well, you didn't realize God done sent you a boat. Well. You don't want to get in. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, here come the helicopter. Well, I'm still waiting on God. God sent you another thing. You still don't want to listen. Come on, preacher. And then this person winds up drowning because they didn't want to listen. Oh, what I'm trying to get at on tonight. God is, look, through me, through these other preachers, every time you hear them proclaiming the gospel, God is sending a life raft for you. Come on, preacher. Mm-hmm. Preach. God is sending a life raft for you. He's sending that boat. He's sending that helicopter to save you. But all you got to do is get in the boat. Come on. We act like there's a lot of hope. Come on, preacher. It's not hard work for us. All it takes is obedience. His death was fundamental to the gospel. First Corinthians chapter. Preach your lesson. Verses 1 through 3. Get that for me, Brother David. First Corinthians chapter 15. And verses 1 through 3. We needed Christ because without him, we were sitting dust. Mm. And as uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 3, the Bible says what? Now I make it known to you, brethren. Now I make it known to you, brethren. The gospel which I preached to you. The gospel which I preached to which you. Which also you received. Which also you received. Which also you stand. Which also you stand. By which also you are saved. By which also you are what? You are saved. What, what, what saved you? The gospel. The, gospel. the word of God. Yes, sir. The word of God. The uh-huh. gospel by which you stand and by which you have been saved. Read on. 
If you hold fast the word, if you hold fast, it's conditional, isn't it, brother? That's right. Yeah. Come on, come on. Which I preach to you, which I preach to unless you, unless you believe in vain, unless you believe in vain. Why deliver to you? Why deliver to you? That is first importance. First importance. What I also received. Uh huh. That Christ died for our sin, according to the Scripture. That Christ died for what? Uh, uh, our sin. He died for himself. Our sin. He died. Come on, come on, come on, preacher. Sin. He died for our, our sin. sin. Do you remember the psalmist saying? What is man that you are mindful of him? Come on, preacher. I'll tell you what is man that he is mindful of him. Go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And he said, let us make man Amen. in our Amen. image. Amen. What are you, my wife? God mindful of you? I'll tell you why. Because uh-huh. God created you. Well. You're his creation. And God wants you back. Hmm. Isaiah tells us. Talk, that preacher. 59, that our sins separate Oh, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Our sins are what separates us. And Jesus tells us if we die in our sins, hmm. where I go, where you I cannot. Am, mm-hmm. You cannot come. That's what he said. That's John well, said. Where I am, you cannot, cannot come. come. Mm-hmm. But see, he's provided an escape. Mm-hmm. Amen. He's provided a way for mankind to be reconciled back to the world. Yes, he did. That's why he came as a man. Mm-hmm. Lived as a man for 30 plus years on this earth. Died mm-hmm. and got up. On the third day. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Because that's what it took to reconcile us back to Well, us. well. But you see, God had this plan in his mind for the foundation of the world. Mm-hmm. Think about that. God had a plan for you and I mm-hmm. before he ever even created the world. Mm. If that ain't love, I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. In Romans chapter 3 and verse number 23, what was the need for Christ to die? For, mm-hmm. What does Romans chapter 3 verse 22 say? For some have seen. Oh. For, for a select group. Oh. For all have seen. Uh-huh. And done what? Uh-huh. And fallen uh-huh. short of the glory of God. Uh-huh. Romans chapter 6 and verse number 23. For the wages of sin. Preach, preacher. Death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yes. You got a choice. You can choose to get on the raft or you can choose to die. But the, but the wages of sin is death. That's not just talking about physical death. He's talking about spiritual death. And you don't want to die the second death. Well. Jesus has provided a way for you to escape that second death. He has. He tells us he was raised from the dead. And if he was raised, what does that mean for those who are faithful? Hmm. hmm. Look at verse number four, First Corinthians chapter 15. And that, and, that he was, he was buried, and that he was buried. And that he was raised on the third day. And that he was raised on the third day. According to the scripture. According to the scripture. Yes, sir. You remember when they went to the tomb? Amen. Mm-hmm. They went to the tomb, Brother Clay. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. To go see about the body. Talk, preacher. Mm-hmm. And when they got there, the stone <laughs> had been Whoa. rolled away. Talk, preacher. And the body <laughs> was no longer there. <laughs> right. Amen. Uh-huh. And aren't you thankful that that body yes. is no longer there? Yes. Because just like the grave didn't hold him, That's it. the mm-hmm. grave won't hold you. Talk, preacher. Amen. Oh, death. Where is that where sting? Is Come on, preacher. Amen. Oh, death. Oh, grave. Where is your sting? Yes, sir. Death was swallowed up in victory. Yes. Uh-huh. But death was only swallowed up in victory because of the love of Christ. Yes. Because of the love of Christ. It won't hold us according to Romans chapter 4 and verse 25. Talk, preacher. It won't hold us. Mm-hmm. We have something to look forward to. Those who obey the gospel. Amen. If you look at 2 Thessalonians. In 2 Thessalonians. Before we go there, Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 and verse number 21 tells me who's going to be the one that make it. Well, mm-hmm. verse 23. Mm-hmm. He said, the one that says unto me, Lord, 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 Lord but enter the kingdom of heaven. Will do what? But he that uh, entered the, the kingdom of heaven. Will enter the kingdom of heaven, but who? But he who does the will of my but Father. he who does the will of my Father. Yes, sir. In heaven. But there will be those on that day. There was a Lord, Lord, Lord talk prophesied, preacher. prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out demons, and in thy name done many wonderful works. Mm-hmm. And in verse 23, he's going to tell, tell them, them, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Come on, preacher. I never knew you. 
See, God has provided a way of escape so you don't have to hear them words. The words you want to hear is, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of Come on, preacher. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, but I'm going to make, make you ruler over many. Man. man. what you want to hear when the Lord returns. Is that not what you want to hear when the Lord returns? In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Starting in verse 7. This is talking about Christ coming back. Church, I want us to look at you. I want me, folks, I want us to think about this for a moment. We know Christ is going to return. Yes. That's a fact about the gospel. Yeah. Paul said that's what we ought to be looking for. He said it's going to come to us like a thief in the night to those who know not God. Mm -hmm. All right. But for those who love him ought to be lo looking for his appearance. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, to someone who ain't obeyed the gospel, it's going to be a sad day. For someone who has not took that step and obeyed, it's going to be a sad day. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, starting in verse number 7, look at what the Bible says. Come on, preacher. And to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus Should is revealed from heaven. from heaven with his mighty angels. Now, that's a promise uh -huh. to those who have obeyed the gospel. Amen? Man. That's a promise. Let's look at the flip side of this. Here's another promise to those who do not obey the gospel. Look at verse number 8. In flame and fire, taking vengeance on Man. those who know not God. Those who do not obey. And those who do not obey what, brother? brother the Peter? gospel of our Lord Jesus. And those who do not obey the gospel, the good news. Come on. The plan of salvation. salvation. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh -huh. The reason Jesus came to this earth the reason Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. The reason Paul said, it is the power of Great God preacher. salvation. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. For those who know not God, are you going to take this? He said, these shall be punished with everlasting destruction. Uh -huh. From the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. And from the glory of his power. And when he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed. See, a lot of folks want to paint God as this, this loving. But they say, well, God's not a loving God. You know, if he'll, if, if, if he'll send people to hell, he's not loving. You know what they say? Well, here's the news for you. God don't send anybody to hell. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> we, want to, we want to jump out the fire into the frying pan. Mm -hmm. He's giving you a way out. Mm-hmm. He's giving you a way out. You remember the rich young fool, right? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna tear down my barn. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to build bigger barns. Uh -huh. I'm going to lay back. That's what he said. Eat, drink, drink and be married. And be married. Mm -hmm. so notice he said, I, 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 and I. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything that I've done. That's right. And God said, thou fool. This night. Mm -hmm. Not next week. Come on. Not next year. This, not this not night, preacher. Month. Not next month. Come on. He said, tonight. Yes, sir. Oh, that mercy. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Remember Agrippa? He said, Agrippa, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. Paul, you almost. Almost supposed to be a Christian. Almost on account of horseshoes and hand grenades. Mm. Maybe even wash the a cornhole. Well. It don't count with God. No. Almost don't count. <laughs> well. Lukewarm Christianity don't work with you. That's right. Preach, preacher. He said in Revelation, they said, uh -huh. you know, I got no use for it. Right. That's what that thing, he's not talking, that's what, what he's talking about there. Right? Mm -hmm. Because in that land, when they talk about there's a hot spring and a cold spring, they both have their purposes. But he said, you're lukewarm, I have no purpose for you. Mm -hmm. right? And so I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. God is pleading with you. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 9. Yes. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all, all should, should come, come to repent. But back up. Uh -huh. God is not slack concerning mm -hmm. his promise. Mm -hmm. As some man counts slack. Like. <laughs> God 
cannot and will not lie. Come on. Right? God is not slack concerning his promises, as some count mm -hmm. slack. Right? And that he's not willing that any should perish. Come on. He said he's not willing that any should perish. Should, perish. should perish. Right? But that all come to, repent. come to repent. You know, we see that sign. You've seen that sign about the army. I forgot what it is, but I'm going to say. Be all you can be. That, 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 that Uncle right. Sam sign you see? That's right. He wants you. That's right. Amen. That's right. He wants you. That's Guess right. what? Picture God being there saying he wants well, you. Well. Mm -hmm. Why not go to him? Well, why not allow him to save? He loves you. He provided a way of escape. Yes. But you don't want it. Look at Second Timothy chapter. I mean, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse thirteen and fourteen. Second Timothy, Second Thessalonians, sorry, chapter two and verse thirteen and fourteen. But we are bound to give thanks to God always. Yeah. Brethren, mm -hmm. brethren, beloved by beautiful. the Lord, because God, from the pay attention to this. Because God, from when? The preaching. From the beginning. Begin. Chose you. For what? Through. By. The Spirit. And. Belief in the truth. Belief in anything. Belief in something. Yes, sir. Belief in what I want to believe. In the truth. Belief in my God. No. Ain't no such thing as mine. John chapter 8. And the verse is number 32. Right. The Bible says, you shall know the truth. a truth. Come on. The truth, the truth and the truth shall set you free. Set you free. John chapter 14. And the verse is number 6. Jesus yeah. says, when he's talking to Thomas, uh -huh. and he's about to, he's leaving. Come on, preacher. And what does he say? Thomas say, Lord, how do we know the way? Mm -hmm. How do we know where to go? Where, how we don't know where you're going, and Jesus how do we know? You already know Thomas, yes, sir. Right? I am the way. Yes, sir. I am the truth. And I am the light. That's what he said. Except by me. How do preacher. I get there? John chapter 17. And the verse is number 17. Right. Sanctify right. them. By Come on, Donnie. Your truth. Your word is, is true. Who is he talking about? Who is the word? John chapter 1. Yes, sir. Verse number 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was. You're going to preach and now. Come on, preacher. Verse 14. And that word became <laughs> and dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father. That yes, word sir. is Jesus. Come on, Jalen. So it proves his point. Come on, John preach. Chapter 14 and verse number 6. Yes. Well, it proves his point. Talk, sir. He said, I'm the way, yes, the truth, and the life. And the life. Yes, sir. If Jesus is the life, guess what, church? If Jesus, if Jesus instituted the gospel and life is found in the blood, where do you find the blood? In the water. That's where you come in contact with Well, the That's how you get life. You cannot have the man without the gospel. Yes, sir. Right. Well. Am I making myself clear enough? Yes, sir. You cannot have the man without the gospel. You ever heard somebody say, I want the man but not the religion? It don't work that way. Nope. How do you know that, preaching? We're going to deal with that a little later on this week, but I'm going to give you insight. Come on. In Matthew chapter 16, we say we don't want religion, right? Mm -hmm. And in verse number 18, what did Jesus say there? Come on. And thou art Peter, right? I run Peter. And on I'm this rock, rock, I will build my church. I don't want religion. I want to do what I want to do. Well. I'm going to build my church. My church. And the gates of hell. And the gates of hell. Should not prevail again. Should not prevail again. What he said. The only way to get into that church is to accept the dead. The burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And to become a part of his body. Galatians chapter 2 and verse number 20. Uh -huh. Paul said, I've been crucified with Christ. Yet not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Uh -huh. The life which I now live in the flesh. I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. And gave yes, sir. himself for me. Paul said, I am now. That's what it means to be buried with Christ. Come on, preacher. To self. I am now in the body of Christ. Yes, sir. I'm buried with Christ. Come on. I'm risen with come Christ. Come on, come on. And I'm going to live with Christ. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Preach. Am I making myself clear? Yes, sir. I hope I'm making myself clear. Yes. We need to look at, we've looked at, we've looked at examining the facts of the gospel. Now we look at the command. Come on now. Look at the gospel, preacher. It's right. been a commandment. Mm -hmm. Jesus says in John chapter 4 and verse number 23, he's seeking true worshipers. Right. Not false worshipers. Mm -hmm. Not halftime worshipers. True worshipers. Not, not, not mediocre Christians. Come on. Mediocre folk. But he's looking for true worshipers. Uh -huh. True worshipers to worship him. And in verse 24, he says, God is beautiful. 
And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's Bible preacher. Many, many people say, well, I, uh, many people say, well, I follow Christ. What does it mean to follow? I'll tell you what it means. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse number 13. Fear God. And keep, keep his commandments. For so this, this is the whole duty of man. John chapter 14 and verse number 15. Jesus said, if you love me, Keep my commandments. In John chapter 15, and the verse is number 14. What does Jesus say? You are my friends indeed if you do whatsoever I ask. Yes. Right. What is one of those commands? To obey the gospel. Mm -hmm. To obey the gospel. Mark 16, 15, 16. He that believes and is baptized. That's Bible preacher. Yeah, he said. But what did they have to preach? The gospel. Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. In mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2, when they crucified Christ, Peter didn't say, oh, y'all are okay. Y'all can just quote the sinner's prayer. Well. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Peter didn't say you can ask him into your heart. Peter said, no, you crucified him. This same Jesus whom you crucified, God has made him both Lord, Lord and Christ. Christ. That would have resonated with the Jews. Yes, because sir. Christ means the Messiah. It was the one that was supposed to be looking for. Come on, preacher. Yes, and sir. Said, and surely, when the ground were open, people coming out of the grave, and the sky was open, the ground shaking, they said, sure. Talk, preacher. Well, surely. Uh -huh. This was, this the, was son the son of God. Whom we just crucified. And then Peter stood up, and what did he do? He kept preaching that, that, that great gospel sermon. And what did he tell them? Let every one of you, That's not right. some of y'all, come on, because everybody needs the same cure for sin. That's right. Well, he said, What did he say? Let every one of you lay by him in the tongue. Let every one of you uh -huh. repent and be baptized. And be baptized. Be baptized. Them brothers, them, them folks asked, uh -huh. Peter, what can I do? Amen. I'm in a bad state, Peter. Uh -huh. Come on. What can I do to be saved? Uh -huh. And Peter gave them. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2. And then in verse number 47. Praising mm -hmm. God and having favor with all the people. The Lord added, added to, to the church those who were being saved. Yes. Come on, preacher. The gospel is what gets you back. The Lord added those who were being saved. We don't get to add. We don't get to subtract. Mm -hmm. I don't have a church to put you in. Yes. Amen. I don't have nothing to put you in. But my duty as a gospel preacher, my duty as a Christian, is to tell those who know not God the message that God wanted to be told. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is that message? Man. Jesus died for you. Obey him. Your sins will be forgiven. <coughs> Live faithfully, and Jesus said, I'm gonna give you a crown. Yes, that's right. That's the message that we ought to be preaching. Mm -hmm. That's the message folks ought to be responding to. Yes, sir. Uh, because there is no other way to get to heaven. You know, oftentimes folks say, Well, mama and daddy, or grandma and grandpa wasn't bad, or they, they weren't baptized and they were Christians, they were saved, give me BCD. <laughs> In other words, I want book chapter verse. Come on. All right. Because even Paul said, even Paul was told, Saul, Saul, why persecute you? Come on. Arise. That's Acts 22, verse number 16, by the way. Arise and pray. No. Oh, well, help me out then. Uh -huh. Arise and be baptized. And be baptized. baptized. Right. That word. And wash away. Greek word, baptizo, which means. Yes, sir. Immerse. To fully submerge. You think about this. When you go to a funeral, right? And you go to the graveyard, you don't need a gas to stick it halfway out the ground. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Amen. No. You don't need them with the arms sticking up out the ground. You can go in there and shake the hand. Well, preacher. Amen. We bury dead things. Am I right about it? Yes. And so if we die to self, that's what we were told to do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jesus said, if any man wish to come after him, we must deny Yes. Take up our cross daily and follow him. Follow me. We got to deny self. And denying self requires coming to Jesus the way he desires, not what I want. When he's already told me there's only one way I can get to the Father. Think about that. Word. Yes, sir. The only way to the Father is self through or by 
me? How do I go through Jesus? Does, does, does that even somewhat make sense to some people? Jesus already told me how to get through. Come on, preacher. It's blood. By being buried with him in baptism. And right being risen mm -hmm. with him. So that I can walk in newness of life. life. And through that, I now have access to the Father. Did you know this? That God don't hear your prayers until you become a member yes, of the Son's body. Amen. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. God does not hear your prayer until you obey the gospel. Come on, preacher. All right. Come on. So we can say, well, I pray to God all we want to. Well, how do you expect God to listen to you when you won't listen to him? Well. <laughs> you see, we got a lot of people in there with that mindset. Yeah, right. We, we want to be one-sided, don't we? Mm -hmm. We want God to do something that we won't do. Mm. Many folk want God to do something that they won't do. How can we be right with God when we want him to do something that we won't even do? Does that make any sense to you? No, sir. At all? It makes none to me either. None. Third. We need to examine the idea of obedience. Man. We want to take the responsibility off ourselves. Do we not? Many folk often want to say, well, I prayed about, I prayed, that's good. Why? Because they don't want to change. The gospel will change you. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've been commanded. The gospel will, if you're true to the gospel, it will require you to change. Romans chapter 12. Yes. Verse 1 and 2. Paul says, Now I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you, you present your as a living, living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Which, Which is your, your reasonable service. Yes, sir. Not be conformed to this world, but be you transform your, your mind. mind. Amen. Yes, sir. We got to change. Paul said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. Mm -hmm. But when I got older, he said, I put the childish thing behind me, but away, right? right? right. Paul said in Philippians chapter 3 cool that he presses forth, connected. right? Right. To the upper call of the God. Right. Mm -hmm. What is that prize? Yeah. Being in the presence of God for all eternity. But we can only get there by submitting to the gospel. By being obedient. Come on, preacher. People, a lot of people say, well, I have faith. Guess what? Faith is not just a belief. It's an action word. Do you remember in Hebrews chapter Preach. 10, And in verse number 1, the Bible says, well, uh, for faith is a seven things hoped for, yet the Evidence. evidence. Last time I checked, Brother Clay, evidence was something that you could see. Yes, sir. Something that was tangible. Talk, preacher. I could hold on to to make my yes, sir. conclusion yes, sir. come out. When cops look at evidence, right, when a crime has happened, they have a crime scene. They go to the crime scene and they gather evidence. Jalen. What does evidence tell me? Evidence is going to lead me to understand and get to the bottom of what went on. Yes, sir. So if my faith is not evident, if my faith cannot be seen, Come on, preacher. if I say that it's simply intellectual, I have not obeyed the gospel. Come on, preacher. Nor do I understand yes, sir. what faith is. Yes, sir. Come on. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 6, the Bible says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For that he that, that cometh to God, God. That he is a rewarder and a of those who what? Who what? Who what? Who diligently, not half-heartedly, diligently seek him. And if you're diligently seeking the Lord, yes. If you're diligently seeking, you're going to obey the God. You're not going to be half-hearted. Am I right about it? If you're diligently seeking, you're going to obey the gospel. James chapter 2 says, For faith without works is just like the body without the spirit is dead. In other words, if I'm saying I have a faith, I have faith in Christ, then I ought to be saying that I'm going to obey the way he asked me to do. Obedience is a must. Even when you look in the Old Testament, a lot of folks say they took go back to the Old Testament. Even when you look into the Old Testament, Obedience, God is always required. Obedience. Come on. 
He's mm -hmm. always required of me. You remember when they had this idea of putting this car, they're putting the Ark of the Covenant on this car? Oh, uh, yeah. And wanting to carry it mm -hmm. with oxen and go against what they were told? Well, now, Uzzah was trying to do the good thing, right? That's right. <laughs> the, the, the Ark of the Covenant was falling. Mm hmm. And what did he do? He touched it. He reached out. Mm -hmm. He reached out. Mm -hmm. And he touched it. That's right. What happened to us? He died. Oh, hold on. Now, if he died, if us had died, Come on. trying to do a good thing, amen, uh -huh. trying to do the right thing, something he thought was right. Mm -hmm. But what we got to understand is that God ain't never asked him his thoughts. That's right. God gave the red you better preach, preacher. Yes, amen. Uh -huh. He said, First of all, it happened from up, from up top. You're supposed That's to carry up. this thing by the stage. That's right. I got a better idea. Let's put it on the car and carry it with ox. That's not what God told them to do. Well. And us reaches out to touch him. Uh-huh. And when he touches it. Struck dead. He struck mm -hmm. dead. Come on. Mm -hmm. Now, most folks will say, well, he was trying to do the right thing. Guess what? Sincerity alone will not get you. You better married. preach. Even mm -hmm. Joshua taught that in Joshua chapter 24 uh -huh. and verse number 14, right? right? Serve God with sincerity and you better preach. Truth. Yes, sir. In John yes. chapter 4, verse 24, God is spirit. They that worship him must, must worship him in spirit, in spirit and, and in truth. You mm -hmm. never see one without the other. Come on. You mm -hmm. cannot have one without the other. Come on. So I'm gonna be, if I'm going to say that I have faith, and think that what I'm doing is okay. Preach. I better have BCB to back it up. Mm -hmm. I better mm -hmm. have book, chapter, and verse to back it up. Well. Not, not my thoughts, but what God said, Hello. the Lord. Hello. And what did the Lord say on this topic on tonight as we come to a close? Come on, preacher. What did the Lord say? Matthew 7. What did he say? Only those. Mm -hmm. Who do the will of my father? Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, only those who obey my commands will be saved. And there's going to be a lot of folk on the day of judgment that's going to say, "Lord, we've done this. Yes, we've done that." Well, I, I read my Bible today. See, it's one thing to read. It's another thing to do. Hmm. <laughs> you know, when you're in school, people understand that. When they teach you put a zero on that paper. Well. I read the assignment. Mm -hmm. I understood the assignment. <laughs> so I ought to get something for that, right? <laughs> you get a zero. <laughs> Amen. You get a zero. Well. But Jesus said, look, think about this, folks. Jesus has taken away the work from you. He did the hard work. Well, A man that was bruised for our iniquities. Mm -hmm. Smitten for us. That's a... The chastisement of our peace was on his shoulders. Right. Yeah. And by his stripes. That's right. And by his stripes we are healed. You know, preaching is foolish to those who don't want to hear it. That's right. Who don't want to obey it. But I'm telling you, if you're here on tonight, the gospel is the power to save. The gospel is what gets you into the body of Christ. Yes. The gospel is where you find remission of sins. And we understand what the word remit means, right? That means it's being it's being cured, right? When someone asks cancer, they say, well, I'm in remission. What does that mean? That means it's going, I, I, I'm being cleansed, right? I, I'm being cured of this disease. There's a worse disease than that in this world that it starts. It's a three-letter word. S-I-N. Sin. And how do you get out of that sin? By obeying the gospel. And here's one of the beauties when you obey the gospel. You now are added to the Lord's body. You now have a family. 
Yes, sir. And you can't touch the radio. And from and from that. Preach, son. Preach. And from that. Then when you see it, according to First John, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and you confess, mm -hmm. the Bible says He is faithful and just, and just to forgive us, to forgive you of all, and everything. to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's perfect tense, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. That's it. That means it's a continual. Yes, sir. But you only get those blessings according yes, to sir. Jesus chapter 1 in, in verse number 3 in Christ. Yes. Only all spiritual blessings are found in Christ. But you get there by you heard the word tonight. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Talk preacher. You if your faith is built on anything other than the word of God, you got a false faith. Mm -hmm. Stop listening to TV events. Preach down. Amen. That's right. Stop listening to TDJs, counterfeit Creflo Dollar. Come on. All them up. Quit Joel Osteen. Listen to God speaking to you through his word. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And don't take everything I say. Check me. Yes, sir. Because I'm mm -hmm. human just like you. Yes. Check me. Right. You've heard it. You need to believe it. Romans chapter 10. Right? With the heart one believes. John 3.16. Yes. Right? Mark 16, he that believes. Mm -hmm. Then you need to repent. Mm -hmm. That means to change your lifestyle. Yeah. Come mm -hmm. out of what you already into. Mm -hmm. Come out of that. Change that lifestyle. Luke 13 and 3 and verse 5. He said, I'll tell you name. Unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That's what he says. I'm sure nobody in here tonight wants to perish. Nobody in here tonight wants to perish. Mm -hmm. I hope. Well, we all want to go to heaven. Yes, sir. But if we, 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 if the only way we're going to get there is following the way. Yes. Of if Jesus had to be baptized, what makes you think you know? Mm. Jesus said, because you remember what John said, I'm not even worthy to lace up your shoe. Mm -hmm. Is that not what he said, Brother mm -hmm. William? Mm -hmm. I'm not even worthy to lace up your shoe. Yes, sir. Like that's what John the Baptist told Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. And Jesus said, you don't worry about that. You just do what I told you to do. Yes, sir. Why? Because Jesus said, I came to be the example. That's right. That's it, preacher. Mm -hmm. And what is a disciple? A follower of Christ. So when Christ was buried and rose in that watery grave. Yes. That's what I got to do. Good right. preaching, preacher. He's buried and risen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he loves me and he desires a relationship with me. He desires a relationship with me. And after I repent, I need to confess the most sweetest name of the no mortal tongue. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 and 33. He said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father, which is in heaven. Yes, sir. If you deny me before men, him will I, I will deny. deny you before my Father, which is in heaven. Now, I want to make this clear. You mm -hmm. can deny God by more than just your mouth. Right? Well, you mm -hmm. deny God in works. In works. Mm -hmm. You deny God by your actions. Mm -hmm. And so when you say, I don't have to be baptized to be saved, you deny God. Yes, sir. When you say, I don't have to go to worship to be a Christian. I'll preach you a lesson. God. When you say, I don't have to always be faithful, you deny God. Yes, when sir. When you say that there is another way to be saved, you are denying God. Because Jesus Come on, said, preacher. there is one way. Yes, sir. Many. In Matthew chapter 7, he says, broad is the gate. And wide is that path. Yes, sir. That leads to the destruction. Oh. And many there be. And many there be. Go in that ad. It or their act. But straight. But straight is the gate. Talk, preacher. And narrow is the way. Mm -hmm. Difficult is that path. And few there be that are going to go in that gate. Yes. Church, you better take, folks, you better take the road less travel. That's right. That's right. It ain't always about taking Well. Road. You better take the road less travel. Confess it not only with your mouth, but with your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'd be buried with him in the water of great baptism, who we've been preaching about all night. Mm -hmm. You'd be buried with him so that your sins can be washed away. Amen. Think about that. Your sins are gone. You have a new clean slate. Yes. So your sins were as scarlet. You know, scarlet is like the color red. You know, when you get red and something white, or you get anything dark, into something white, it's hard to get it out, is it not? Preacher. Right. So my sin, where it started. Mm -hmm. There's a song we sing. Amen. He makes mm -hmm. them white as snow. That's right. Yes. 
You mean the blood of Jesus is that powerful? Yes. To mm -hmm. cleanse me of all my wrong mm -hmm. and to make me be in the right standing with God by me going down into that watery grave of baptism. Oh, that's it, and preacher. That's how you accept. People say, well, I accepted Christ into my heart. That's how you accept him into your heart. Yes, sir. By being obedient. Yes, sir. I called the name of the Lord. How did Paul call the name of the Lord? By being buried, baptized. By being buried in that water. Yes, sir. Grave. That's what it means in Acts 22 and verse number 16. Mm -hmm. When he told him, Arise, brother Demas, wash you away your sins. Calling on, on the, the name, name of the Lord. Lord. How did he call on him? He obeyed what was told him to do. Yes, sir. That's how yes. he called the name of the Lord, folks. Mm -hmm. And then you need to live faithfully once you come up out of that water. Baptism is not an end, it is a beginning. Yes, sir. You are starting a new life. Old mm -hmm. things have passed away. The old old things have become mm -hmm. new. You are starting a new life. Revelation chapter 2 and verse number 10. He says, Be thou faithful to death, and I will give thee. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Remember Paul said, My time of departure is at hand. Mm -hmm. I've kept the faith. Right. He said, I finished my course. Kept the faith. I've kept the faith now. Yes. Now. now. There is laid up for me. A crown, a crown of righteousness. Do you want that crown on tonight? Do you want to be in that? Do you want to be in the body to where you can receive that crown? You need to get that. If you're here and you're a member of the body of Christ, you haven't been living the way in which you ought to be living. Hey, I'm not here to point the finger at you. Amen? Because the Bible says for all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all need the same help. We're here to pray with you, pray for you, and help in any way we can. Whatever your need may be, please come now. While together we yes, sir. sing the song of encouragement.